So I have just uh, installed uh, a movement sensor of the uh, burglar alarm. We share the power supply with the doorbell. And the doorbell has been uh, supplied power by a uh, DC uh, power supply from the uh, electric meter box. After that uh, broke down, I changed it to a, a USB charger and it uh, works very well. We can uh, just have a look uh, in the box here. So here we have the, the uh, electric meter and uh, uh, from the electric meter used to be a power supply installed and then it's uh, uh, broke, uh, it's failed uh, and uh, I install a socket and use a USB charger and a USB cable connected to the original wiring. The wiring already uh, in the house. So this is just a 5 volt USB uh, universal charger. Now it's to supply the power to the doorbell. So to supply the power uh, to the doorbell. And uh, Inside here, so the doorbell, you never need to change the battery again. So inside, originally you have a four D sized uh, battery, and then they connected the power supply. I think this one, so power supply uh, connected to here. That's positive. That's negative, and then the button outside the house connected here and connected to here. And between these two poles, that's the coil for the doorbell. And when I connect this uh, movement sensor, so the battery run out maybe uh, in a few months. The door contact can last uh, for a few years, but the battery for this movement sensor maybe just a few months. We don't use the alarm very often. We always find out they already flat sometimes, some liquids. Uh, uh, came out from the battery. I have to clean inside the contact. So to save the trouble of changing the battery, I installed uh, here to share the power supply uh, with the dual bell. The one thing to mention here, this is a, a 5 volt, about a 5 volt power supply. Well, and this uh, movement sensor need uh, 4.5 volt, three batteries. Uh, in order to limit the current, maybe some uh, uh, voltage here. And in here, I just put a resistor. Uh, ideally, I think if we think about uh, 10 uh, milliamp, 20 milliamp, maybe just uh, about 30 ohm is good. But uh, I, can, I could only find uh, 75 ohm, so I just put into the wire 75 ohm and then connect to the uh, positive power supply and the negative power supply and Inside Connect to the battery post that I can I can show you I have a couple of this and they all run battery uh, flat so this dual bell just uh, clip on and they all work well I have tested and it's all worked well. Here I have a, another tool. So the movement sensor when you connect and there's a, there's a plug here. That's actually the power supply and you have a red wire for the positive and a black wire for the negative. And they're actually connected to this two point. And this is a negative, that's a positive. So I, I just use this type of wire uh, with a single copper inside and get uh, rid of some of the plastic and just put into that hole and then uh, just tighten them and twist them and just contact that hole and that hole. So that's okay. To open this, there's just one screw over here. So on the top is just a clip in and at the bottom you have one screw to fix it. So to open this is very easy. 
And to install on the wall, I have a, a wall plug, and then I use the small screw, and I drill a hole from here, and I get the uh, two wire, uh, like this wire, two wire, I uh, get them in, and then wrapped to this two post, and then they are installed.